Mary and I'm back with another video if you're new here karibu sana that means welcome in Swahili so if you guys have noticed most of the time for the past few months I've been doing my videos here along this wardrobe of mine or maybe while seated on my work desk but I've not been showing you entirely my bedroom because there's something that I've been hiding and I decided today what the hell let me just show you instead of us going into the new year with things that I'm hiding. So there are two things I want to show you. There are two areas of my bedroom that have always been hiding from you. But today I want to show you. So I'm going to take you through the first one and then the second one. <laughs> the first one is a project I started in 2020, guys. And if you watch my vision board, I talked about renovating my home and whatever. I wanted to create a vanity area. So I started the process. And then it got stuck midway when i came to this house everything was just plain it was just the wall like this so the first time i hired someone to build like a small place where i'll be putting my makeup i showed them an image sent it to them that fundi came back with my jabu like what the hell was that so that thing was excessively big first of all so it was reaching here when i was sitting on my work desk it was reaching like this fully did a shoddy, shoddy job. Look, look guys, what kind of painting is this? Just splash like one coat of painting. I don't know. Look at this here. This piece of wood is not even painted. I don't know. It looks funny. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Can you see what I'm talking about guys? So today I've decided this thing needs to go. If I'm seated on this desk, I cannot sit there at the corner because of this thing it's just below my head so i have to push this desk here now this space is just going to waste so i called a fundi and i explained to him what i want and the fundi is coming today okay you guys see what are these so the, the fundi is coming today to install the new cabinets i want like a shelf here so that I can also put a, a mirror here. So this was how the place was looking like. I decided to just get rid of it like less than a month ago. Imagine this was me two years ago. I look so young. <laughs> and you'll just get a glimpse of Tarajul also passing. I don't know what I was dancing. But I decided to just remove it. And then call someone else and ask them to take this thing away. First of all. And then bring in water they had created. See Taraji? <laughs> Another lazy afternoon The clouds covered in grey Third coffee of the day Ooh. Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day Ooh. But I can hear it I also asked the fundi to add another coat of painting So I paid extra for it But it ended up looking so good Which is what I wanted let me first show you my entire bedroom because I know you haven't seen it in months. There are times you may have gotten a glimpse of it, especially on Instagram, but not on YouTube. So let me first show you the entire house. When you open my bedroom door, this is how my bedroom looks like. Let me just give you a glimpse. That desk area, like that. And then the second area. Don't mind the bed. I know that I was going to show you something there, so that's why I didn't spread it like properly. But this is what is going on. You see that headboard there? Yeah, I'm going to tell you about it. And then my curtains. I'm against the light so it can't be that bright right now. But those are my curtains. And then I don't have a laundry basket. I put my clothes on that bucket for now. And then this is where my wardrobe is. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through the plans that I had for that area and then now what i'm going to do because i want to improve it today a little bit here and there so it can look much much better initially i wanted just something like this two levels like this that fundi did something up to here you see this is all because of the process of putting here imagine so it was reaching here so there was no way because initially before this thing was here I'll tell you about my bed, but this this was under my bed when I had my initial bed, because this was not my initial bed. So, initially, this table was up to here, 
But now I couldn't sit there because this car shelf was hanging up to here, just below my head. So I would push, I pushed it up to the other side. And I was like, no, I can't do that. So this same round, I got someone else. I gave them the first image that they gave that first fundi. Told them to make these, okay? It's a separate thing on its own. And then I showed them another image from Pinterest. I told them to also make this. It was like this up to here. Then I figured that since we have space, you see, you cannot push up to here because I was working with this space to here. If it was reaching here, I would have wanted a bigger, a wider one, but no problem. So I decided since there would be space here, instead of this thing hanging here, I told her to uh, modify mine and extend it to here. Because the plan was, here I was going to have a plant like this one. This one I just bought it at the supermarket. It's the one I've been using for my background videos, if you guys had noticed. And then here I was supposed to have a round golden mirror. You know, a deco mirror. And then here I was supposed to put my bags, my handbag. This was supposed to be my vanity area. I would get ready here. I also wanted to use this place to create content. So for, it will be the background for my YouTube videos, the sit down videos, and also for content for Instagram and for TikTok. And you see this, I told this person I didn't want mbao like wood here. So he got this in color white and the other side too. And then because I had a small area here, I also placed this. So another project in this area before we go to the bed was this chair. I bought this chair in 2020 during the pandemic when we started working from home. I went to Ngara, Apochinia Bridge, under the bridge. I wanted to get them from, what is this called, that area almost at Umoja, um, where they used to put them so much before they changed the roads. But I couldn't get there at that time of the pandemic, so I just went to Ngara, picked this one quick at 5,000 shillings. Tell me why this chair did not last one year did not last one year before the end of the year it had gotten it snapped somewhere there's a plastic thing here it broke after breaking i said you know what maybe this thing can be fixed because it's an it's a new chair those mario mare they were passing here the one the chomelea chomelea tell me why this person charged me 300 bob kuchomelea kitchen and i was like maybe it's been long since i used chomelea because the time that used to used to used to have things chomelea plastic things that will charge maybe 20 bob 30 at most 50 i paid 300 bob and then they were like okay so now it's good i've already fixed it don't sit on it for 24 hours i did not sit on it for three days actually because i normally like going overboard with following instructions i did not sit on it for three days tell me why the first day i sat on it like this i just had tap my 300 bob gone like that so i was like the next project is buying a new chair, work chair. So this chair, I wanted to buy a new one. I haven't yet, but I am disposing of it because it is beyond repair. Let me show you what I'm working. I don't even know how I've been sitting on this thing. Imagine, check. It, it is broken beyond. There's nothing that can be done. And I've, I, I, I'm even scared of buying another chair because now how will I know a good quality chair? Then we should not be buying these things like yearly, surely. It took, it lasted less than a year. So these days even, I don't sit much on it much because it is very uncomfortable. But I've already made that decision. I'm going to dispose of it. But yes, this is my work desk area. So let's move to this place that looks disorganized. <laughs> That's why I didn't even want to like a tikutandika to spread it onto this bed because I knew I was going to remove all these things. Onto this bed now. This, I haven't shown you guys this bed. You see, it's a different bed. If you guys remember the time that I got my Fobana cooker, I just come from up country for my cousin's traditional wedding. So when we came back, I went to help her pack and, you know, move into her husband's house. And she was giving away stuff, TV, you know, the chairs, whatever she was just, I think, going with the plates and the clothes and a few other things. So she was there like, oh, I can't move with this bed into my husband's house. Like, who am I giving this bed? Do you want this bed? And I was like, yeah, the bed looked nice. Like, I always loved this bed. So I was like, it's okay. I like it. And... With my, the bed that I was using that time, the mattress had become not thin, but you know what, what you When you look at it, it's thick. But when you sit on it, it just goes mm, down. So it was so uncomfortable. I, it even took me a while to realize the mattress was the problem. Because I was looking at it and I'm like, this mattress is still like... 
So when she suggested that, I was like, ah, that's amazing. So guys, I've just got into the house. Look at what I did. I had to put this in the living room. That's the mattress. They've gone to get the bed. So they need to come and put disassemble these so we can put it aside and then they can reassemble the bed here. So that's what I'm waiting for them to do. In December, we give our gifts, wishing well to our world. Peace on earth to everyone. A time to be joyful when all is calm and all is bright. But why does it change with the seasons and why can't we just hold? so thankful i came with it together with the cooker but i had never shown you because this was another project i wanted to do the vanity area that was going to be one project and one video and then a bedroom makeover which involved now showing you the vanity and remaking this bed and putting me another mirror like full length mirror like i had the plans so if you look at this bed uh when i got it it had these stains okay and my kuzo told me that I can just wash like and they come off. But I don't know. I feel like the washing will not be enough. So I was thinking, first I thought of getting that. Is it fabric? What? Cleaner? Upholstery cleaner or something? But I was like, no, I don't think that's enough. Me, what I want to do is to get those people who come to clean your upholstery to come with those machines. And I've seen some on our estate, so I just wanted to ask them how much it costs to clean. Me, that's what I want to do. That was my initial thought. Then I started thinking my theme for this bedroom was gray. If I'm against the light, it's not bright. But yeah. So my theme was we see the gray and the white. And then I wanted to have, I've told you the gold there. And I wanted to have white bed sheets, gray cover, baby pink pillows okay one or two because i wanted black white and pink no uh, gold was just there too but black white and pink so the next thing that i've thought is maybe to just get a pink material for all these baby pink everything but now that means that i'm going to have to almost redo the whole bed you see this uh, and we haven't i haven't even removed the the what is it the paper i'll remove it not now so this means this place this area also has to be baby pink that board baby pink but i love this bed and this this is it's orthopedic they call it orthopedic even turning it by myself is hard the other day i tried and i failed so it it is very compact okay and very comfortable so what i've decided to do today is i want to clean that area my vanity area there are those things paintings no uchafu that from the hands makeup whatever i just want to clean them wall manually because it's made of it's the oil based paint just clean it to make it cleaner and then uh, i want to arrange my bags the small ones that i have <laughs> i have big bags too i have to arrange the small ones so it can look prettier and then you see how this bedroom turns out and if I happen to make any other changes, guys, I'll just tell you. Though I don't think it will happen in this house. And I don't want to talk about that now. You will know about it later. But for now, let me make my space as beautiful as it can be. Okay? What I want to clean are these. You see, these, these two things. These are things I think if I clean. But for the paint, I don't think it will come off with the normal cleaning. These things. I want to clean these. And then, oh, I also was supposed to repaint this bedroom. I'd forgotten. I just saw that and remembered. I was supposed to repaint this bedroom. And then after doing this, something was like, Linda, why did you pick 
this color though i picked this color so it could blend with this so it can appear it can look like this is how the house was designed you know but after that i was like but i love white so i was like so do i do it i redo everything white the shelves you paint them white the wall white i don't know that is what was going through my mind but let's just first clean this area and then see from there afternoon on a train i only took it because it started to rain afternoon in the fall this weather always makes me think about it all the woman across me she's wearing a trench coat a bouquet of roses i wonder what they're for a candlelit dinner a date in the park a night at the theater or love in the dark i don't know where she's going i don't even know her name i don't know if her life has been a breeze or a hurricane i don't know if he loves her or if loving him is pain for a moment on a train almost at the downtown stop i'm already late but i know want to get up outside the city painted gray mm, but in here a vivid world is on display the man behind a suitcase a custom cut suit but shadows on his face was it just a bad day when he left when he gets home or did it all go astray and now he sleeps alone it's not coming out. I've just, I've just realized it's paint together with this. It was what because uh, this person brought it here and then did another a final coat of painting while it was already mounted. So some of that paint splattered. So this can't come out. I've just realized that. So let me just take care of the normal stains. Anyway They won't know where I'm going They won't even First of all I miss you And secondly I never want to see your face again I get that it makes no sense Oh but I've been trying to forget that I remember you exist I'm just exhausted cuz you said you needed me and I took that way to serious So forgive me for saying I'm sorry I don't need nobody except maybe you Is it true love if I don't love anyone else Maybe it's time that I stop lying to myself Make another playlist With words I'd say directly to your face If I was brave enough But instead I will give it a title The man 
much is yours Then listen with my headphones in And wonder what I'm crying for I'm just exhausted Cause you said you needed me And I took that way too seriously So forgive me for saying I'm sorry I don't I'm done with the cleaning and putting back my makeup stuff and it already looks so much better. Wow, why didn't I do this before? So I want to get my bags that are up here. They're just scattered everywhere, everywhere. I want to get some of them because <laughs> to be honest, not all of them can fit there. And I wanted no those those to, to small to tiny cute bags to gold to white I wanted to start buying those bags but for now we're using what we have because you know what you need to use what we have because even today I've not bought anything I've not hired anyone to do anything it's not like a huge makeover but I'm just making my space more beautiful with what I have let's do this so what is up here let me shock you guys no judging this is a judgment free zone so let me see See the, the bags that can fit. Cold nips at your toes. Wrap up in winter clothes. Can you be my This is small, but anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Of course, these are not the kind of bags that I wanted to put here. How can I put them like this? Hey, guys, let me know which one do you prefer. Okay, scratch that. Let this one be up here. I wasn't going to put this one on display, but I can see it's small, so it fits. And then this one, and then. Let's see if bag three can fit here, and that's it. So we don't add, add other bags. So guys, I finally figured out how to arrange everything. I've also gone ahead to spread my bed and just clean the floors. I didn't want to show you that. The only thing that I wanted to show you was me, like taking care of that vanity place because that was my priority for today. The bed I was just showing you so you can know like what's going. So I want to show you how it turned out. I don't know why it took me two years to like be like I'm waiting for the perfect time when I have the money to buy the mirror and paint the walls. You can make your space as beautiful as you can with what you have. So with that said, let me show you how everything is looking now. In December, we give our gifts wishing well to our world. Peace on earth to So here's the bedroom. At a glance, let's not talk about this chair because I've said I'm um, disposing of it. So let's talk about this area over here. This was my main area today. Previously, this bag was under my bed, but now, if you look at the way this bed is designed, you see, the space is so little, there's nothing that can go under there. I love this area. I feel like even though not everything has come off, some things will just have to be rectified with painting, especially like there. But the walls are cleaner. I love this place. This plant is so clean. Those are my makeup brushes. Still my makeup stuff. So I wanted this past to be only for bags. But you know what? 
I didn't have another smaller bag. I only have big bags, so I decided to put this fancy necklace of mine over here. And then these bags are arranged like this. And then at the top there, I have another bag. And you see, I have space over there. I can put something else. I have space over there. I can put something else. And then that's the top. And this is the bottom. The top mostly I've put hair products. You see, they can too. Here, that's hair, hair. Photology's hair, hair mostly. Sanitizer, glycerin. And then this is face mask. I need to use it. It's so little. Candle, nail polish. This is my micellar water, it's, um, it's almost running out and then also I've put medicine for kids, whatever, for Taraji mostly. And then down here is what I use mostly, these are the makeup I use, these are my makeup lashes that I've, I've never put on. <laughs> we won't talk about that today. And these are the things that I use to do makeup on a daily basis and my lotion and my lip lipsticks. I don't have a lipstick holder or something like that. And then this, I know this is a, a, a dish, but we're not going to talk about it because I don't have anywhere to put my earrings. I need to buy things for storage, for lipstick, for earrings. But so far so good, I'm not complaining. This space has turned out more beautiful than it was before. So on this other side, this is what we have. Uh, yeah, I know that looks bad. I also don't like how it looks, but we'll sort it out, okay? I will sort it out because that's something that requires like me to outsource. I don't think that's something I can clean on my own and it comes out. And yeah, this is the bed. We're not talking about my bed making skills. <laughs> the bed was not the main point. The bed I was just showing you so you can see because I'll be filming from here going forward. And then also that place... Uh, even that thing for putting clothes. Msionge, because I know my premier gang, you people, I know you will come for me and tell me to buy uh, that laundry basket. Yes, I will buy. <laughs> eh? In Africa, there's no hurry. Rome was not built in one day. And then this side, you know this side. I usually show this side so, so much. <laughs> A girl is happy with herself. So guys, is there a difference? Am I, you are just like, you know, you're just wasting your time. There's no difference from before you started and after. Please let me know if you like this. Guys, I just want to encourage you that, first of all, home renovation, okay, I don't know if this is home renovation, or decoration, renovation, is very expensive. And sometimes it takes time. This is something that I started two years ago. Got stuck. Sometimes it takes time, so don't give yourself pressure. If you're able to do one thing at a time, do it. If that thing will take long, do it. But along the way, find ways of also enjoying it. You know, like what I've done. So now I feel so good when I look at it, like it elevates my mood. So yes, I've not bought anything. I've not even spent a single coin, but it is much better than it was before. So with that said, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye! That's the magic saying bye-bye with me.